Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the cosine rule to work out the missing angle in a non right angled triangle. So, the formula that we're going to use is this formula here, and it is cos capital A equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared, all divided by 2bc. And the small letters are the side lengths, and the capitals are the angles. Um, this is this formula here I've rearranged to make cos A the subject as this formula here is much easier to use than the original cosine rule formula. Um, I've made a video on how to make cos A the subject so feel free to watch that one as well. So let's have a look at the example here. So we've got to work out the missing angle here and if you notice then we're given all three side lengths. So to start this off then, we need to label up our triangle. So since we're finding this angle here, we call this angle capital A. Now since this angle here is opposite this side length here, these are opposites, this would mean that this side length here is little a. So the other two sides will be little b and a little c. It doesn't matter which order you label the 5 and the 7 in as you'll get the same answer either way. So let me call this one B and this one little c. So let's just copy our cosine rule formula down again. So we just need to substitute the side lengths into this formula. So because question mark equals 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 6 squared all divided by 2 times 5 times 7 so we can now type this into our calculator and this will give us a fraction or a decimal so hit your fraction button so you've got 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 6 squared all divided by 2 times 5 times 7. So this gives us cos question mark equals 19 over 35. So we just need to now convert this fraction into an angle. So we do the opposite to cos, which is cos minus 1. So this will give us our final answer. So on your calculator, just cos inverse that fraction. So you get an angle of 57.1 degrees to three significant figures. Uh, thanks for watching.